Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test Tech, I'm Josh. Today we're going to be showing you how to build the FT Mustang Chuck Lighter. The FT Mustang Chuck Lighter is designed off the iconic P-51 Mustang that was featured in World War II. To build this Chuck Lighter, we're only going to need the following pieces. Our main wing, our horizontal stabilizer, our main fuselage, the two nose doublers, and also our nose weight up in the front. The only tool we're going to need is our hot glue gun. Let's go ahead and get our materials in order and we'll get started. Let's first start by taking both our wing and our horizontal stabilizer and putting them to the side. And we're going to put our energy towards the front nose. You guys are probably noticing if you built any of these other chuck lighters with me that there's a very common theme in how these are assembled. And we want that to be the case so you're comfortable with the building process. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to just test fit our nose piece. We're going to make sure that our nose piece is flush around the top, the front, and the bottom. Once we're happy with the way everything fits, we're just going to put a thin bead of glue right on the outermost perimeter all the way around. You don't need a lot of glue. There we go. And we're going to flip it upside down. Now that you see it's upside down, we have this cavity that we can place our nose weight in. Once we test fit it, Come back with a bead of glue right in the middle and then press it down into place. Same process as before with the other nose doubler. We're just going to do a quick test fit, make sure it's flush all the way around. And once we're happy with that fit, we'll trace the outer perimeter. We're going to line up once again. Again, making sure the top, bottom, front, and the wing slot are all flush. At this point, our main fuselage is now done. Let's go ahead and put our attention towards the wing. We're going to want to keep our fuselage handy, though, because we're going to use the front of the nose to act as our dihedral gauge. You're going to notice on our wing that we have a score cut here right down the middle, along with two etched lines in the back. The two etched lines in the back are going to be our rear trailing edge. The score line in the middle is going to be where our dihedral is held. Dihedral is really important because it gives the airplane inherent stability. In other words, when it banks one way or the other, it actually creates more lift on the lower wing, causing it to self-right. Now, different designs will give you different amounts of dihedral based on the type of airframe and the flight performance that you want. For this one, the correct dihedral is going to simply be achieved by holding the fuselage upside down and then bringing the tip of the wing all the way up to the front skid. Once we practice that, we can open up the cavity in the middle of the wing, place a bead of glue right down the center, and then go right back to the build table. Again, you can see I'm letting the end of the uh, fuselage drape over the work table. And we're going to let this dry for about a minute. Make sure you don't pull away the nose of the fuselage until the wing's fully dry and holds the shape. To identify the front and the back of our wing, we're going to look for the two little etch lines on the very back. That's going to indicate the area that goes towards the tail and also help us center up the wing. The area in the front here is going to meet up perfectly with our two nose doublers. Let's go ahead and pass this on through. And we're just going to press this in right until the cavity lines up. Now it's really important to make sure before we glue the wing down that both wing tips are equally elevated the same amount and that we don't have one wing tip lower than the other side. Once we're happy with that and everything's centered up, we can place a thin bead of glue on the bottom of both sides and make sure that you keep your wing nice and level until the glue is fully dried. Now the wing is in place, we're going to install our horizontal stabilizer. You're going to notice that there's two sets of etch marks helping us center up our control surface and the score line is going to be facing up. The score line is mainly helpful if we have to do any kind of small adjustments where we bend this up ever so slightly to give it a positive angle of attack. We're simply going to slide this into place and we'll center up the tail. Once we have everything centered and we make sure it's 90 degrees perpendicular, we're going to lock it down with a bead of glue. Make sure that both your horizontal tail and your rudder are 90 degrees from each other while the glue dries. At this point, our FT Mustang Chuck Lighter is now complete and ready for its maiden voyage. 
Now keep in mind, because every airplane is different with both balance and how it's assembled, and you may have to adjust your elevator just a little bit while you're gliding it to get the best glide slope. That's part of the fun. Let's go ahead and take this outside and put it up for a flight. All right, so now comes the fun part here. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be test gliding these. Now keep in mind, because every airplane is different, they may perform a little different. If the plane dives down, you're gonna to wanna to deflect the rear of the elevator up a little bit. Also keep in mind how fast you throw it and how hard you throw it is gonna depict on how it climbs. So if you're using a rubber band and launching it, that may mean that you need to have less throw because that extra speed is gonna give you the ability to pitch up. Now whenever you throw an airplane, make sure that you don't throw it like a football make sure you throw it more like a dart. So wherever the nose is pointing, you wanna push the nose directly towards your target. That's how you're gonna get the best glide slope. And also, speed doesn't always matter. A gentle toss at the proper speed is gonna fly it farther than a heavy toss. Let's go and throw this to my good friend, Stefan here, and we'll see how it flies. You ready, Stefan? I'm ready. Here we go. I did it. Nice level. Oh yes, <laughs> oh yes. Now I've not been the greatest thrower of gliders. So just, we'll be honest with ourselves. You got this. <laughs> Very good. Yep, I like to hold it right by where the skid is, point it nice and level, and then toss it over. So friends, this is all dialed in here. If you built everything and you follow the instructions, it should be pretty dialed in without having to do anything with the elevator here. But if you want to get some cool maneuvers, you can always experiment with changing the angles, do boomerangs, things like that. One, thank you for being part of the Flight Test family. Thank you for building with me. We'll see you in the next one.